So if someone is just becoming aware of feng shui and want to start looking at that, I say you just start becoming aware of your surroundings. Look at what's around you, how you interact, how you feel and respond when you look at things. Do you have a coffee table that you're looking at and you hate that coffee table? Well, what kind of energy is that putting out into the world? So why would you want to keep looking at that? If you have a picture you love, why is it in a room that you only use once every few weeks when a guest comes over? Why is it not in your bedroom or in your entry where you spend time and see it, where you get to enjoy it as much as possible? So, so really becoming aware of your environment and that there is an energy transfer between everything around that that table, you're transferring energy every time you look at it and say, I like it or I don't like it. And so when you're aware of that, then you can start looking at the directions you face and you'll understand that the energy flow is different when you're facing different directions and the directions are different for each person. So when you know your directions and you can use your compass to sort through that wherever you are, whether you're in your house, whether you're in a movie theater, whether you're uh, at the office, whether you're at the beauty salon. You can figure out which directions you will face that will be supportive of you and your energy so that you'll be relaxed and comfortable and at ease in all of those situations. So in feng shui, based on your birthday, everybody has four favorable directions and four unfavorable directions. The favorable directions all relate to a different area of your life and so you can choose what areas you want to support. So if you want to support your health you can face your health direction and it's great because you can use all of those directions at any time for any situation depending on what's going on in your life or maybe what you're doing. If you're working from home in a home office you can face your success direction. If you're having health issues you can switch and face your health direction. There are also four unfavorable directions. That doesn't mean that you should never face any of those directions. It means that maybe you don't want to spend large amounts of time facing those directions. And even some people might find that they need that in their life because they need that stimulation of the various experiences that come up with life. Those, those unfavorable directions don't mean someone's going to die. They don't mean um, the world's going to come crashing down. It just means if you use those directions consistently, there's going to be some challenges in your life. So you still need some of that to keep the balance. It's all about the yin-yang energy. Without yin, there isn't yang. Without unfavorable, there isn't favorable.